B and uh, our algebra one. This um, is problem two, uh, five point two. We are writing direct variation equations. This, for a lot of students, for some reason, is a little bit more difficult. Um, I'm going to hopefully show you um, the trick with it. Uh, like I said, I had some kids that this was hard for them the past couple years. So let's look at this. Our directions say, our directions say, suppose y varies directly with x, and y equals 35 when x is 5. What direct variation equation relates y or x and y? What is the value of y when x is 9? So there's two parts to this. This is um, question one. Question one says, what direct variation relates to x and y? Question two is, what is the value of y when x is nine? The very first thing we need to do is we need to realize what tells me that this is a direct variation. Okay, in this sentence right here, or this uh, phrase right here, suppose y varies directly with x. That right there tells me that this is a direct variation. Sorry, I've been yawning all morning this morning. I apologize. Suppose y varies directly with x. That is a direct variation. Okay. The second thing we need to realize, too, and this is the second part of this, um, and y is 35 when x is 5. This right here, this right here is our order pair. Our order pair is 35 and uh, 5. 5 being the x, 35 being the y. So that is really, really important. That's our first step to pull out. We know that um, we have an order pair of 5, 35. Again, we want to find k. Our very first step is to find k. So k is y over x, isn't it? k is y over x. So what I'm going to be simply doing is putting 35 over 5 because 35 is y and 5 is x. And then I can simplify that. 35 divided by 5 equals 7. Okay, so I know k. So our first step is to find k. I know what k is. k is 7. My next step is to write the equation. So our direct variation in uh, y equals k is y equals kx. We know that k is 7. I can just plug in 7 for k. And then this covers our question one. This covers our question one. Our question two says, okay, so now since we have our direct variation, what is it when x is nine? Because that's what it says, right? It says up here in the directions, what is the value of y when x equals nine? So what is it? What can I do with this um, nine? Good, I can plug it in. I can plug in 9 for x. I get y equals 7 times 9, so y equals 63. Let's do another one. Let's do another one. So, again, we have, we have our problem. We have suppose y varies directly with x, and y equals 10, when x is negative 2, what direction of variation uh, equation relates y or x and y? What is the value of y when x equals negative 15? Well, how do I know it's a direct variation? What part of this tells me that this is a direct variation? Who can tell me that? What part of this tells me that this is a direct variation?
Good, if you would have said, suppose y varies directly with x, this part right here, this phrase right here tells me it is a direct variation. So my very first question is, hey look, am I even dealing with a direct variation? Yes, I am. And I know that because of this first phrase. Suppose y varies directly with x. Okay, so what is the ordered pair that we know? Well, let's look up here. My ordered pair is going to be y is 10, x is negative 2, right? So my ordered pair that I know is negative 2, 10. This next thing we have to do is, what is k? Well, is it k y over x? Yeah, it sure is. k is y over x. So I can plug in 10 for y. I can plug in negative 2 for x. And I can simplify. What's 10 divided by negative 2? Negative 5. What is the equation? What is the equation? Well, again, direct variation is y equals kx, isn't it? Direct variation is y equals kx. So can't I plug in negative 5 in for k? Sure can. So we get y equals negative 5x. Our next part is, what is the value of negative 15? Of x, uh, what is the value, what is the y value when x is negative 15? So if I know this, what do I do with the negative 15? Good, I plug it in. I plug it in for x. By doing that, I come up with y equals negative 5 times negative 15. And we come up with y equals 75, because remember, a negative times a negative is a positive, and 5 times 15 is 75. All right, that includes our examples of part 2. I want you to try this problem. I want you to try, or actually no, sorry. Let's do this problem too. Let's do this problem too. So again, we have suppose y varies directly with x and y equals 6 when x equals 4. What direct variation equation relates y or x and y? What is the value of y when x is 8? very first thing to do is realize that this is a direct, direct variation. How do I know that this is a direct variation? Good, is that phrase, suppose y varies directly with x. That phrase, suppose y varies directly with x, tells me this is a direct variation. Next question, what is the order pair we know? Well, we know that it is 4, 6. Because it tells me, it says y is 6, x is 4. And when I'm writing an order pair, doesn't x come first? Yes, it does. So 4, 6 is our order pair. Now it says, what is k? Well, if you recall from the previous videos, k is y over x. Good, k is y over x. So since k is y over x, I can simply plug in 6 for y and 4 for x. Then I get 6 over 4. Now, is this in simplest form? No. Simplest form is 3 over 2. Okay, so what's our next step? Good, what is the equation? I can write out that equation of y equals 3 over 2x. So remember, direct variation is y equals kx. And we know what k is. k is 3 over 2. Are we done? We got our directions. Are we done? No, we got to figure out what the y value is when x is 8. And how do I do that? By plugging it in. So we know we have y equals two, uh, 3 over 2x. Now I can plug in 8. And you can plug that into your calculator. And if you remember how to plug it into your calculator, if I use one of these calculators, I'm going to hit 3 ABC2. Oops, let's try this. 3abc2 times 8, which is 12. So y is 
12. Okay, now I want you guys to take a couple minutes and I want you to solve these problems right here. The first one is suppose y varies directly, with, suppose y varies with x and y is equals nine when x equals 12. What is the direct variation equation that relates um, x and y? What is the value of y when x is negative 15? So try that one out. I also want you to try out this one. Suppose y varies directly, suppose y varies with x and y equals 15 when x equals 5. What direct variation equation relates y or x and y? What is the value of y when x is 10? So go ahead and stop this video. And when you go to the next video, it will explain to you these problems. So try these out first.